Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight with a Channel 5 News update on the kidnapping and murders of three Progreso residents. Erica Alvarado Rivera and her two brothers were found shot just across the border two years ago. Channel 5's Michael Scott visited with her mother tonight. He joins us from the newsroom with more. Well, Cal Alvarado tells me the Mexican authorities stopped contacting her family. Now she's afraid her three children will become another number of unsolved cases in Mexico. These three pictures of her children remind Raquel Alvarado to keep moving forward. The pictures are hanging on the wall in her living room. It's been very difficult for me. Two years went by. She's afraid her three children will be among the thousands of people killed in Mexico, left with no explanation. I don't think anyone is going to take interest in our case. I think that many times, I think that they will live this like many times before. Erica Alvarado Rivera and Alex and Jose and Hal Alvarado were visiting their father in the small town of El Control, Mexico. The town is just outside of Matamoros. All three of them went missing. They were found dead. Witnesses say armed gunmen took them by force. The gunmen were said to be members of a security guard group for former Matamoros Mayor Leticia Salazar. No answers in sight for Alvarado. She says none from the Mexican or American authorities. Tengo una esperanza. I hope that everyone one day, yes, the one day, there will be justice for what they did. She tells me she recently went to visit her children's grave sites in Mexico. I know I will continue forward regardless of pain for my children, but I continue to move forward for the love that I feel for them. Her desire is for someone to come forward and bring closure to the family. Alvarado says she has an attorney who keeps fighting for her, working to get answers. She adds the investigator on her children's case from the attorney general's office in Tamaulipas is no longer there. Reporting in the newsroom, Michael Scott, Channel 5 News at 10.